Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The summary and peace out to the rest of you. The blackest hearted, blackest minded, blackest man on social media signing, black in and shining. Again, asking you to hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. I'm going to say this real quick. I've been trying to make this short for the longest and I failed. So let me say this real quick. Here's the deal. In the end, um, Russell Wilson, number one, is exactly who all of us either were or almost were. Because we came up, a lot of us were alive before the Internet. Some of us were even adults before the Internet. So that means that we were pretty much all adults before social media. And so we were adults before the manosphere. That's the thing we need to understand. In order for us to not be that, we had to find the information or be lucky. I was lucky and I still needed the information. First thing I want y'all to realize. Secondly, he is exactly what the war effort is about. Their war against us is uh, with an objective and that objective is to create exactly that to churn out a society of exactly that Russell Wilson It doesn't matter that he's physically an alpha. He's in better shape because he's the professional athlete 50 cent and he and Russell both lift weights, but he does cardio and all that. He's a professional athlete He's got to be in better shape than 50 cent through no fault of, of 50s But his job requires that it's in his training regiment. They budget for the training and all that stuff. So Russell, in the end, has to be the physical alpha amongst, between him, Future, and uh, 50 Cent. The one thing he does not have is that bad boy image, and he gets stuck raising her child from another man. He's the only one that got stuck raising her child from another man. Nope, none of the other two ever had to do that. It wasn't just because 50 was before she got pregnant. It's because she knew doggone well, I'm not going to go for another guy like that now that I'm a, I'm a single mom. That's too late. And we men are doing the right thing by making it too late. So in any case, the important things to note are two things. Number one, all of us either were him or we almost were. Thank Allah for the Internet, then social media, then the manosphere and the information about what the wicked witches of the West really want coming out. Number two, the gynocracy, the matriarchy, wants to turn out a bunch of him. He's the archetype of what they wanted to turn us into and raise us to be. Our knowledge represents their failure to do that. That's the end of it. That's what makes them upset. And this is why we must go for the minds of the younger boys, really, and say to them, exactly what the hell it is that we know their mothers aunts grandmoms and older sisters don't want them to know about women in general young man do you know who russell wilson is yeah exactly russell wilson is a hell of a football player athletically he's a good role model to follow but understand his wife sierra would have never dated him if she did not already have another man's baby first because Russell Wilson is a good guy. That's not what she wanted. She didn't have his baby till he started to help her raise another man's baby like it was his own. That doesn't make Russell a bad person. The problem is that it makes him too good. That's the issue. So, you see the gynocracy and the matriarchy wanted us to be that highly motivated in our fields highly successful because there are two things that the women want there's what they want and then there are who they want who they want are 50 cent and future even if this is just even if these are just online personas or these are just entertainment personas in front of a camera and on stage even if that's the case that persona is who they want and that's who they want to actually screw and breed into the next population what they want is a retirement plan. And Russell Wilson is that retirement plan. He ain't normal because of his money. That's true. But they don't want normal. You understand now? They want you and me and you and you and you and you to be that retirement plan. Now, stop and think about this. 
Jessica X said, these women are not telling even their own sons, let alone grandsons and nephews and younger brothers, the truth about what women want because they would be telling on women. The truth about the games women play because they play the same games. She herself said that on Game Changers channel. Shout out to her. Some of y'all don't trust her, I know. I'm giving her a fair chance as long as she doesn't actually start, you know, as long as she doesn't flip and turn on us. I'm, I'm cool with her. Same for a man. But um, she herself came out and said that. She herself came out and said in the end, when it's all said and done, they're not going to tell. My mother said that to me at a table. I told you all about that. They're not going to tell on themselves, even to help their own sons, nephews, grandsons, and younger brothers. What is the major secret they're hiding? They want to be hoes and get away with it. Now, it was funny because women go only go into prostitution. In most cases, they only go into it when they have to. Only then. But what's funny about them doing that is that it's like they still want to be hoes. Western women still want to be hoes. They don't want to really be prostitutes. They don't want to be treated like it. They don't want to be called that, but they want to be hoes. They demand, though, because, you know, that want might be something that you can't really help. I don't really know. People want things they can't help that they want, them, but they don't do them. But they demand to be hoes, go through a whole phase and not pay the consequences. And to escape the consequences at the expense of the men with whom they would not go through a whole phase because they thought that them being hoes was too good for these guys, like, you know, normal guys. At the end, it's all about, that's all it is. They want to go through a whole phase, not with most men, but still with enough men to be too high of a body count for any one individual woman and then turn around and you bail them out. I bail them out. He bail them out. The guy sitting next to you bail them out. And if you bail them out well enough, guess what they'll do? They'll even stop focusing on the kids and turn around and go back and cheat with these guys. And won't even ask them for a commitment because, hey, they got that from you. If they could, they would spend their whole lives engaging in exactly what Ms. Philosophie told me that men need to stop shooting for recreational sex. They would, if they could, they would spend their lives, their youth and their old age engaging in recreational sex without asking for the commitment uh, with these particular types of men and taking the commitment from regular guys, normal men. See, we came up thinking, if you are the kind of guy from whom they want the commitment, but they don't want to screw with something wrong with you, we came up thinking that way. No, nah, bro, normal dudes get that kind of treatment. They may think it's something wrong. That's, it, it, it's not that something's wrong with you. It's that they think something is wrong with you being normal. That's all that is. So they act like that. That ain't your fault. You can't control that. And don't accept any guilt or, or and that's what these game dudes are about. Well, it's because you beta. No, nigga, you could be normal. Beta means second in command anyway, if you're really going to go in order of the Greek alphabet. The point is that even second in command, you're accepting that their standards that this even the ones that are second in command are OK and, un, and, and, and that they're reasonable. When in fact, that's a very unreasonable method to take. Armies, yeah, they need generals, but what's the rank under general? Major general? Armies also need major generals, and they need privates and all the other ranks in between. They need these. What you're pretty much saying is that you deserve to be mistreated because you're a major general and not a general. That's really what you're saying. So you game coaches and PUAs, man, y'all can fuck the shuck up about this. In all honesty, because the real truth is, is not that Russell Wilson is just a beta at his heart. The real truth is he was taught to be one and no one uh, he, rather he's he was taught to be a simp. No one told him how he was being mistaught and lied to. That's the real thing. That's, that's the real problem that's going on. And that pretty much the entire gynocracy of the West is sitting up and saying, well, you know, even second in command is bad for us. We all want that same general. Why can't they just grow on trees and we can just go pick them off? Well, that's because if they grew on trees, you'd still eliminate most of them. The real problem is that the mechanism of elimination in women uh, has been exaggerated in the Western woman. 
yeah, they got standards and all, and that's fine, but that, that's gotten exaggerated in the Western woman, and she has likewise refused to meet any standards herself, and you sitting up and saying, well, that's all right, that's okay, that's just the way it is. I don't think you niggas understand. You actually indirectly contribute to the formation of Russell Wilson's out there. Now I see him as a victim, but I see him as a stupid victim because the information's out there nowadays. But hey, look, that's what we gotta that's what we gotta catch these brothers when they're young, before they even men, and tell them, hey bro, look, you know, all that stuff that that your aunt and, and whoever else in your family didn't tell you about women, I'm gonna tell you now. You can love them, sure, but don't do like Russell Wilson. Absolutely not. If you're coming in childless, she comes in childless. End of story. And yeah, I, yes, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam married Khadija, who already had kids from a previous marriage. These don't compare. Number one, she had them from a previous marriage. Number two, she was a widow. Her man died. Her first husband died. Number three, she was older than him. Number four, she was richer than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well. And number five, she turned down prepare Mosul marriage proposals. I'm sorry. She turned down marriage proposals from wealthy men and then chose Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because of his character. And she was gorgeous. This isn't something that most of you would never do. You don't want anyone younger than you. You don't want anyone poorer than you. You don't choose character over money. You don't choose character over age. You don't choose character over height. You don't choose character over anything. And as a matter of fact, if a man has all of the physical attributes of being dominant, but he has a good character, you will still rate him as being less deserving, evidenced by how Sierra is ranked Russell Wilson, how she's ranking him. Sorry, even if he went to approach her, that was dumb on his part. But even if he went to approach her, the fact is, somewhere down the line, subconsciously, he knew where he was ranked. And for him to know this subconsciously, because he requested to meet her, not when she got done with 50 Cent, but when she got done with Future, he requested to meet her. And I don't know if he was married to the wife that was cheating on him at the time she was with 50. I don't even care. The point I'm making is that he, somewhere down the line, understood what it took. And this is what I want y'all to realize. For him to understand that about himself and the way she saw him, that means... At the end, that means that other women had done the same thing to him, which, of course, we know his first wife did. He had a good character. He was physically dominant and all that. I mean, as a professional athlete, what did she do? Cheat on him with a teammate or teammates. I can't remember if it was one or multiples. But the point I'm making is that somewhere in his subconscious mind, he knew how he was being underranked. This is something that had to happen because it was consistently done to him by multiple women. What was it? It wasn't his looks. It wasn't his physicality. So the only thing left was his character. So it's time for the Wicked Witch of the West to just admit she got busted. And it's time for we men to just go ahead and admit this ain't going to change, really, till we hit these young brothers up and say, this is what they don't want you to know, and that's what makes it important that you know it. Thank you all for listening. Black Heart, Black Mind, Blackout, Asalaamu Alaikum, and Black Heterosexual, Non-Select, Male Power, just because they don't like it, so that there will be no more Russell Wilsons, and Black Patriarchy until Extinction or Judgment Day.